Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're going to be jumping down into the world of Bitcoin, taking a look at what's been going on most recently and what I would expect to happen next. As I get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Now if you have not yet joined us in Discord, links in the description down below. It's a fantastic community talking crypto 24 7 it's completely free and i don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there so why not go ahead and check that one out today and also if uh, you want a little bit more from the crypto space you'll find links to our patreon services in the description down below as well uh, we offer a lot more for our patreon members in discord so if that's your bag why not check them out okay let's waste no more time let's jump right down into this right so bitcoin paired up with usd this is the weekly chart and bitstamp is this data source now um this one is the one to start with because we just want to kind of reflect on the recent pullback we hit as low as 21 uh, we are still dropping down i'm expecting us to go down lower as per yesterday's video um but i'm going to show you obviously what this means in relation to the metrics that we've been using already okay so obviously we have the 200 um you know sma so the simple moving average uh, and you can see here that we have now just gone below this 200 sma line okay this is something that happened back in the 2015 bear market low okay we went a little bit lower and then we kind of came up from here in 2018 lows we actually bounced from this line twice um, and we were able to uh, effectively actually just use it as support and then over in the march 2020 crash we actually came down we closed below it and then basically within a a couple of weeks we were above it and we we're rallying up again so uh, again this is a key area to know that we haven't really ever come down lower than this in any major significant way um so you know we should kind of use that as uh, an understanding as to what is going on however we should also um understand that just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it's not going to happen going forward for example we have not lost or no, have not gone down lower than the previous all-time high there's a high probability that we are going to do that that's something new for bitcoin so ultimately staying we can see that ourselves staying below this 200 sma line um for a few weeks and it, it may not have happened in the past but it may happen going further forward and um, but this is getting very very close to the bottom of the bear market in my opinion and this is a great way of showing this and indicating this to us using a simple move average but you know sometimes we also want to use the emas the exponential moving averages and here again you can see something similar to what happened previously coming down to this lower line uh this lower um i think it's a 200 ema or 100 ema let me just check it's a 200 ema okay so as you can see on this low 200 ema uh, we can see that we actually came down and we stayed below this one for quite some time and uh, you know this is actually very much consistent with what was going on right now as well so again another one that's kind of lining up quite nicely and of course finally we really do like this one on the channel the Guardian channel uh, going red indicating that the bottom is near and the value is in this particular area so basically um, when the Guardian channel goes red we think of this as a great way to kind of look at it as undervalued okay uh, as in you're in the bear market and this is where uh, you might want to start thinking about dollar cost averaging because this swing to the upside is very significant afterwards okay this is something that happened back here in the lows of 2015 and 2018 ahead of their runs to the upside we've only just gone red about two weeks into this so again you know we could see um this kind of bottoming out within the next kind of week or so and then slowly grinding our way back up again as we continue to dollar cost average at cheap rates before we start to really get a significant surge to the upside and um, so i wanted to start the video off with that just kind of showing you uh, essentially you know what's going on here from um, those three metric perspectives right so uh, the 200 sma the emas uh, the 2050 and one, uh, 200 EMA lines, uh, along with the Gazian channel as well, showing us all very much confirmation that we are heading into the bear market low. And uh, really, this is a place to be kind of dollar cost averaging, in my opinion. But do remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I cannot offer you financial advice. All I can do is give you my thoughts and opinions on the data in the charts as I see it. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my uh, 
by Binance data. And we're going to jump this down into our hourly chart, okay? Um, and we're going to reflect on what's been going on most recently. So we've got some interesting kind of patterns here. So we have our five wave structure uh, within our third wave, okay? Uh, so we've got wave one, we've got wave two, we've got this kind of wave three, and we are trying to work on some kind of wave five. And it does look like, uh, because we've gone down lower than the fifth wave at the moment, that we've now started the fifth wave coming down lower. Now, what's interesting about this is it was a really short um, wave four, right? Um, and therefore, we've got a limited route to the downside. We've got somewhere between 19,400 and 20,290. So um, I will just draw in this little box right here. Okay, and that kind of symbolizes that area between 19,400 and 20,300, let's say. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the stochastic RSI back up here. Okay, we can see that we've got a little bit more room to fall to the downside and we've got some room to come down here um, before we move on up. Now, the four hourly stochastic RSI is actually quite high. Um, so we could potentially be looking at a significant pullback that will take us into these kind of low ranges here. Um, but again, you know, there's no guarantee that any of this is actually done just yet. Um, everything else is actually in a really good spots and we shouldn't really worry about many of the other time frames right now um, essentially all we're really looking at is the hourly and the four hourly chart to kind of complete our final fifth wave coming on down uh, and coming lower so uh, at the moment we haven't got anything major or significant to kind of really talk about other than the fact that uh, there's a slight um how do I say, like increase or decrease uh, just in here. So if I grab hold of my pencil, for example, uh, we can see that we've got this um, stochastic RSI slightly increasing, and it's increasing as our price is decreasing. And so we can see here that this is basically going to be um, significant to the downside uh, in the very, very near future. So uh, essentially what this is indicating to us is that um, the momentum of the price is not marrying up with the price action itself. And this kind of divergence is going to allow us to kind of acknowledge that there's a significant drop coming. Um, so again, you know, it might be that we end up with an overextended fifth wave. I don't expect that though. Um, but we, you know, we should definitely be thinking less than $20,000 in my opinion, or at least bouncing from the previous all time high. And uh, that definitely seems to be something I think is very, very likely at this particular stage. Some that we weren't really acknowledging that much uh, historically speaking and um, because it's never happened in the past when it comes to BTC uh, however this time round it does seem that um, a lot of the, the kind of history is is to be written and therefore a lot of new things have been happening and as a result of that we can now move forward knowing that these things are definitely possible and you cannot rule them out. Um, so I think that's really important that we kind of just reflect on uh, where things are likely to go based on the momentum of the price, based on, on your simple moving averages, your, your EMAs, your Gaussian channel, all of them are indicating that we have more room to the downside to be had. Many altcoins are probably also going to drop down another 40 or 50% and uh, you're going to see some very, very good discounts on those as well. Um, um, but guys, I'm going to leave the video there. If you have found this useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications. And in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With all that said, done out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next one.